Hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through seven exercises that you can do standing up to improve leg strength and range of motion. Just like in my other leg strengthening videos, we'll go through two sets of 10 and take a short rest break in between each set. All you'll need for this video is a solid, stable surface, like a sturdy chair or a kitchen counter to hang on to, and 20 minutes to hang out with me. All right, let's get started. Our first exercise is standing marches. So this one's kind of self-explanatory, but I want to show you a demonstration before we get into it. So depending on your level of comfort and your balance, specific things that you might be dealing with, you can either stand with the stable surface at your side, if you need something to hang on to, or you can turn and hold on to it with both hands. You figure out what's going to work best for you. I'm going to show you this way. So to demonstrate, our standing marches are just going to be picking up our legs with bent knees and alternating back and forth. Now here's your modification. If it's too hard to go back and forth and alternate your legs, just use your affected side first. So lift, raise up, one leg at a time, okay? The only other modification I have is if it's too hard to lift your knees up really high, that's okay. Just do what you can, start where you are. Okay, let's get into our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, you're doing great. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good job. Let's take a quick breather here, a couple seconds. You might be feeling those hip flexors starting to burn right about now. That is to be expected. That's what we're working on. So in these little seconds, uh, in between sets, feel free to grab a drink of water, pause the video if you need to take a longer rest break, go at your own pace, okay? With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and start us into our second set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, give me two more, nine, last one, and 10, feel the burn. All right, everyone, good job. I'll see you at exercise number two. Our next exercise is hip extension. So we're going to turn and hang on to our sturdy surface here. And what you're going to do is straighten your leg and bring it out back behind you. Bring your foot forward and push it back. Try to keep that knee straight if you can. And forward, good. Now here's your modification if that one's too hard. If you can't lift your foot up that high, what you can do is bring your leg back and do a little toe tap. Just go forward. When you go back, it doesn't have to come up. You just take it back and toe tap, okay? You figure out which one is going to be best for you. This leg is going to be my effective leg, which is the one we're gonna be working first, okay? So hold on to our surface. Let's do our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, good, four, doing great, five, six, you're probably feeling that burn, seven, I am. Eight, nine, let's do one more. Woo, good one. So take a little breather here and let those hips rest. Um, I will say one thing that you can try to do if you need more of a challenge during this one is, as you're bringing your leg back, at the end, I want you to put in a nice little butt squeeze, okay? So more of a challenge, instead of just raising and lifting, add in a butt squeeze at the very end and then bring your leg back. Alrighty, hope you've had enough time to get a drink of water, take a couple big deep breaths. Let's move into our second set of 10. 
I'm going to show you this again on my affected side facing the camera, but you can choose to alternate to your unaffected side if you wish, or do another round on the affected side. Okay? Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, doing awesome, five, six, seven, eight, push through these last two. I know they're hard. Last one here, 10. Very nice. Take a deep breath and I'll see you at exercise number three. Our next exercise is hip abduction, meaning raising our leg out to the side. So that was the movement that we're going to do. You can hang on to your chair, either have it on the side or in front of you, whichever way is going to work easier for you. I'm gonna be demonstrating this way so that you can see the movement of my leg. Again, this leg is my effective leg. So I'm holding on to the chair and we're just going to raise our leg out to the side and back down. Here's your modification if that's a little bit too hard for you. Just like with the last exercise, if you need to, you can just kind of come out and do a little toe tap here and then bring your leg back in. So if you can't get up super high, just bring your leg out for a toe tap and back in. All right, let's get into our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a good one for balance. Two, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Whew. Great job. You should kind of be feeling that on both sides because your other leg is having to stabilize as you lift your affected side out. So even if you choose to alternate, you know, between sides, you know, maybe starting with your affected and then going to unaffected, however you choose to do it, you're going to get a workout on both sides of your hips, which is great. <laughs> Alrighty. Now that you've had a little bit of a breather, let's go into our second set of 10. Ready? You can do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're doing awesome. Seven. Keep it going. Eight, nine, last one. Whoa! I'm feeling that myself. This is a good one today. Y'all take a breather. I'll see you at exercise number four. Our next exercise is squats. Now, I'm gonna be showing you modifications, so don't run away, okay? <laughs> so you all probably know what a squat looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a demonstration of proper form. We don't wanna hurt our backs. We don't wanna hurt our knees. You also don't have to come down super low for this. You can still get a benefit without going all the way down to the floor. So if you need to, both hands are on your stable surface or your chair. Your feet are gonna be about hip width apart. And what you're going to do, it's gonna feel a little silly if you've never done it before, but you're gonna kind of stick your butt out. Your knees are gonna bend. And it's like you're gonna be going back to sit in a chair. Right? So we're going to come back and then up. You don't have to come all the way down here, okay? If you just sink down just a little bit, enough to get an, a little bend in the knees, that's okay. Now here's the thing. If this is going to be too hard for you, you can try something called a wall sit. It's a squat, but you get a little bit more support from the wall. Again, you don't have to sink down super low. Your back comes against the wall. If you need your chair in front of you, have that too. Safety is key here. So you have support at your back and you sink down into a little bit of a squat here. Your back's pressing up against the wall. If you need support from a stable surface, hold on to that. And you'll just hold here for a couple seconds and then come back up. 
So figure out what is going to be the best way for you to do this, the safest way for you to do this. I'm gonna be showing you with the chair today. So let's go ahead and get into our first set of 10, okay? Here we go. Feet are hip width apart. Our bottom's gonna get pushed out here. And let's go ahead, here we go. One. Two, good. Three. We're not gonna rush this movement, okay? Four. Five, we don't want any injuries. So you're gonna take it nice and slow. It's not a race, that was six. Seven, hang with me. Eight. Nine. And 10, good job. Something that you can try too is, let's say that you're holding on to a kitchen counter. You can actually put a chair back behind you. So you've got kind of a cue to know when your bottom hits that chair, especially if it's a higher chair, that might be more helpful when you're first starting out with this one. Um, but it can give you a target to shoot for. It can also give you a landing spot if your balance goes off. But you have to make modifications for this that are meeting you where you are at this moment in time. But you're hanging with me so far. You're doing great. Let's go ahead and get through our second set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three. You also want to make sure that you're keeping your back nice and straight. Four. Nothing curved over. Not like this. We don't want to hurt our backs, okay? Joint protection is very important. Good. I think this is number eight. I kind of lost count. I do that when I get distracted. We're gonna say this is nine and 10. Very nice. I'll see you at the next one. Exercise number five is lunges. Again, please don't run away. You are capable and I have modifications for you. So we're not going to be doing walking lunges. We're going to be static, staying in place. Now this is a complex compound movement, meaning that we are moving multiple joints at one time. We're getting ankle engagement, knee engagement, hip engagement. So it is working a lot of different sets of muscles, which is why I like this one so much. But Make sure that you're being careful with this one. If your balance isn't quite there, assess if this is going to be a good one for you or not. As always, have something stable to hold on to, okay? So, to start out with this one, let me show you how it's done. So, we're gonna get our legs into a position and we're just going to bend those knees and sink down. We're gonna try to keep our knee from going past our toes we want that knee to kind of be over our toes and we're just coming straight down and back up. This is my effective leg, but for this one, I am going to alternate for our second set of 10. Okay, let's get through our first set of 10. We're hanging on to our stable surface. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, you're doing so good. Three, four, hang with me. This is one of the harder ones. Five, six, but you are capable. Seven, you have made it this far. Eight, you got this. Nine, give me one more for our first set. Whew. Very nice job. Now, one thing I'd like to note, 
You may notice that I have a little like blanket down here under my feet. I have this so there's a little bit of contrast between my shoes, my jeans, because the floor down here is kind of dark. Normally, I would say do not put something like this under your feet or you will go slip sliding around, okay? So that's my disclaimer here. All righty. Take a nice deep breath. I think that's a good, this is a good place to do that. Let's all just close our eyes. Breathe in through our nose. And out through our mouth. We'll notice the plane going overhead. Not sure if you can hear that or not. All right, folks, let's get through our second set of 10, okay? So this time, affected side is coming to the front, unaffected side is going back. We're holding onto our stable surface, and we're gonna drop those knees to start our second set of 10. Here we go. And one, Two, three. Now remember, if this is too hard, you don't have to come down as far as I'm coming, okay? This is gonna be number six. You can come down just a little bit here and back up. Seven, back up. I'll finish it with the modification. Eight. nine, and 10. Awesome job. Exercise six will give you a little bit of a break from those last two compound movements we just did. So this is all about knee extension or straightening our knee. So again, I'm going to say that this is my affected side. This is where we're gonna start. So you're gonna bring your leg out in front and straighten your knee and bring it back. Now, if this one's too hard for you, you can just bring it out, do a little toe tap, and bring your leg back in. Again, I'm gonna be using my nice solid stable chair to hang on to, to give myself a little bit of stability here. And we're gonna go ahead and start our first set of 10 with our affected leg, okay? Ready? Here we go. And one, two, Three, doing great. Four, this one is actually hard for me. Five, I have very tight hamstrings. <laughs> Seven, eight, hang with me. Nine, last one, very nice, good job. Take a little breather here. I think let's all take a nice big deep breath together again. Get a drink of water if you need it. We'll close our eyes. Deep breaths in. And out. Nice job. For our next set of 10, I'm actually gonna swap legs. So I know that your unaffected side probably doesn't need quite as much strengthening. But what I like about this one is it also gives your affected side the chance to be a stabilizer. So as you're lifting your unaffected leg, your affected side is having to stabilize and keep you upright and balanced. If this is easier to do with something in front of you, as long as you have enough room to kind of get your leg out in front of you, that's just fine. Again, whatever works for you, use whatever modification that you need. So let's go ahead and do our second set of 10. We're raising our unaffected side, stabilizing with our affected side. Okay, let's do our second set of 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, you got this. Six, seven, eight, 
nine and ten. Excellent job. I'll see you at our last exercise. All right, everyone, you have made it to the last exercise. I am so proud of you for making it this far. I tried to put some of those more complex movements in the middle and then ease off with some less complicated movements at the end to kind of cool down a little bit. So our last exercise is a standing calf raise. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this one to you. I'm still holding onto my chair, both hands this time. Our feet are going to be about hip width apart. And you're just going to come up on your toes and then slowly lower. Up on your toes, slowly lower. Now, if this is too hard, I don't have a huge modification for you. You can do this sitting down where you're sitting and just trying to lift up on your toes while you're picking your heel up. Or if it's too hard to come all the way up, you can just very slightly lift up and then come back down. You don't have to do the huge movement. So let's go ahead and get through our first set of 10, shall we? Here we go. Okay. And one, two, three, four, excellent. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost there. Last one of our first set. Ten. Good job. Take a breather here. I just want to say I'm so proud of you for making it this far. You powered through the middle of that when it got a little harder. I'm proud of you. You are showing up for yourself. You're prioritizing your progress, your recovery. Every time you show up, you do these exercises, you do activities around the house, you are prioritizing yourself and your recovery and you deserve that. So I'm proud of you for showing up today. With that said, let's finish this up. Okay, so we're standing here, last set of 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, doing great, five, six, we are almost there my friends, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> Beautiful job. You all are wonderful. I will see you next time you feel like going through these exercises. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, did you find these exercises too easy, too challenging, just right? I'd love to hear your feedback. As always, I will leave a link in the description to sign up for my email list if you'd like to get three free stroke recovery tips a week, and it also gets you access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.